Here we go. All aboard. Hi, babe. So we're going to breakfast. This is the hallway of our cabin. This is the 11th deck. And we were in room 11602. You can see a separate video of the room tour on our channel if you want. So the lobby uh, are marked pretty well as you're walking down the hallway. This is exit and lobby. Every time you can actually get to the lobby. They have these pieces of artwork uh, on most every floor. This is Mario, so we always know we're on our deck and close to our cabin when we see Mario dancing. Of America. George, who I'm has George treated from Romania. King treated George us from so Romania. well this week. How yes. are you? Nice to see you. Excellent. You guys ready for the amazing breakfast? breakfast? Yes. Have a fun day. Thank <laughs> you. Enjoy breakfast. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. So we just finished washi washi. The entrance is over there, and then the wash stations are right here with the water and the soap. It's really nice. It's uh, right here handy and you just do it before you enter into the Windjammer. I'm pretty busy this morning, it should be so early. Got all kind of juices, coffee. Good morning, good morning. And now in this time, the first thing you do is get your plate. I'll come back. The first thing you do is get your plate because this is the only place they have now that has the plates. Unlike before, if you were familiar, where they had plates at every station, now they only have them here at the very beginning. So. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. The deli guys are the deli guys are on it. Yes. On it. Lots of choices. The donuts that are really unlike American donuts, but still good. My donut guy, my muffin guy. All kinds of all kinds. Waffles and pancakes and French toast. And even fruit on the healthy side. <laughs> the meats, you got scrambled, regular scrambled eggs, cheese, pork sausage, chicken sausage, bacon. Good morning. Morning. Go ahead. Breakfast ham, carved right off the pig. All kind of eggs and omelets. Oh, sausage. My favorite, fried eggs and biscuits and gravy. Morning. Morning. Another drink section. And you still have the Coke machines. Morning. Morning. You still morning. have the Coca Cola machines Hello. and the staff here. Hello. ready to help you. Morning. JJ's already found a seat. Good morning. Sunshine. Hey, Elfin. Morning. Morning. Say hi to YouTube. Good morning. <laughs> this has been our team all week. They've been great. We kind of sit in this section of the Windjammer 
because uh, we like habit <laughs> and we like this crew. So. Morning, uh, chef. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And then you got the omelet station or the fried egg station, whatever they happen to have in the morning. 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 Most of the week they've had omelets. Good stuff. More bacon, chicken sausage, and some veggies. <laughs> You've had a good week? It's been a good week, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And just remember, when you go out, you'll need to also scan your card. And we'll do that when we go out because for contact tracing, they need to know who's been in here and with whom else. So we're going to sit down and eat now. Bye. I didn't get you earlier. This Yay. is me too. Hey. Talk to you later. Thank you, sir. Busy place. Oh, How are you, Good. Good. Wait, wait. Did you have a good breakfast? Yep, we did. Did you, you log out? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Me too. And one of my favorite spots, the musical staircase. Right outside the Windjammer are the kids' pools. Symphony has both a baby splash zone and an H2O zone for older children. Children still in diapers can only go in the pools on certain ships. On Freedom and Oasis class ships plus Anthem of the Seas, children in diapers or those who are not toilet trained can use the baby splash zone. On all other ships, children in diapers, including even swim safe versions, or children who are not toilet trained at all are not allowed in the H2O zones, the pools, or any of the whirlpools. Additionally, adult supervision is required at all times for children ages 12 and under, regardless of whether a lifeguard is present or not. There are also complimentary child life vests. There are bars on either side of the pool deck. The one closest to the beach pool is called the sand bar. Haha, uh -huh, get it? And the one on the other side is called the pool bar. There are also beach towel stations on either side. Beach towels are available for checkout at the stations. Guests must have their CPAS card in order to check out pool towels. You can check out as many towels as you need for the pool, a port of call, or a shore excursion. However, you must check in the same number of pool towels that you checked out. If you do not return the same number of towels you checked out, a $25 fee per unreturned towel will be added to your onboard account. I can think of several better ways to spend $25 on board. The beach pool is on this side of the ship. There's quite a bit of seating around the pool. Although be aware when capacity increases again, that perspective will definitely change. We certainly enjoyed it while we were on board. There are lifeguards on duty at all pools and water slides during opening hours, except for the solarium on Oasis, Allure, Harmony, and Symphony. The pool water varies regarding fresh or salt water depending on the ship. So if that really matters to you, be sure you check before you book a certain ship. There are also fresh water showers next to every pool and whirlpool. On the water slides, you are not allowed to wear any jewelry or sunglasses at all. No watches, earrings, necklaces, anything. 
I even left my wedding ring with JJ. Also, no equipment like water cameras or GoPros. Basically, if you're cruising while vaccinations are required, your vaccination band and your swimsuit are all that's allowed. The green and yellow toilet bowl slide, as we so lovingly called it, was very fun, so I'd still highly recommend the slides. Another whirlpool back here, hot tub. And this one actually is more of a <laughs> hot tub if you really want it, because it has two separate sections. So you can have bubbles in one section and no bubbles in the other section if you want. But it has TVs and everything up here too, so it's nice to look out over the water because it goes out over the edge of the ship at night. And another freshwater shower here. And this leads us into the solarium. Currently, if they were to have a dual protocol cruise, it would be vaccinated area only. <laughs> Lots of seating out here, along with the little canopy beds. Very cool. And the window's open. There's an open window right there. Lots of seating up here. Of course, again, when we're at full capacity, we definitely need it. Hasn't been a problem at all this week. Right. Love this decor. What do you call that? Piece of art. Piece of art. Big, uh, big piece of art that actually lights up at night. It's really cool. Hot tubs out here, fresh water showers, more canopy beds, nice bar. Nice seating area, couches, and another. I think this is actually literally a hot tub. I don't think it bubbles at all. Hey, good morning. In the lower level of solarium, more seating. All the way back there. And then on each side, you have this area where you see those people coming in from. It's like a side, it's like a side area that you can walk out onto and look. Morning. Morning. We did sail away out here. It was really nice. that hot tub sticking out that I was just in. That's that hot tub where the TVs are. It's really cool to be at at night. Very large area back here for the solarium. They have enough extra chairs over there piled up that aren't even out. And here's the other area, viewing area. I don't even know what they call it officially. And JJ's warning me I'm about to get wet. The rain is coming. So here's the, on the port side of the ship. That was starboard that we just, we're just on. And this is port side. 
another viewing area and a see-through floor. Pretty cool. Pretty cool and see all the way to the ocean. Very neat. And the helipad, of course, up front. It appears this week to have been open only to staff, I think. They've got that yellow rope. I'm not sure you can see the yellow rope. Oh, you can see it. But they've been blocking it off, I think, from passengers. Skywalk, that's what they call it. <laughs> it's called the Skywalk. And it's on both sides. It's a great place for sail away. So as we come back up the stairs from the bottom deck of the solarium, we come back to this wonderful art piece of artwork. To the entire port side of the solarium. Actual hot tub, jacuzzi, whirlpool. There is the Solarium Bistro restaurant inside there. Actually, we were at Hook's restaurant last night, which you can see some food from. And it's upstairs there. So the Solarium Bistro is downstairs. The curtains are closed right now. And Hook's restaurant is upstairs. It was excellent. As we come out of the solarium on the port side of the ship, we can see the exit to the smaller water slide and we start the seating to the main pool opposite of the beach pool and we see the other bar and the towel station as well. The smoking section is on down the deck on this port side of the ship or the side the main pool is on. There are designated smoking areas on every ship. On the Oasis class ship, smoking is not permitted in Central Park or the Boardwalk neighborhoods. The casino does allow smoking and has a designated area for non-smoking guests. There's also signage clearly posted all over the ship regarding smoking and non-smoking areas. On board, all interior public spaces are smoke-free. Smoking is not permitted in any dining venue, theater, bar, lounge, hallway, elevator, or on the jogging track. Smoking is also not permitted inside any stateroom or any stateroom balcony. If you are interested in seeing Embarkation Day or a tour of our cabin, please see the links above. There is definitely more to come from our week on Symphony. If anything about this video has helped you learn something, be entertained, or even roll your eyes, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of our upcoming escapades. Thanks for joining us.